Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Taurus. This is for Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the last half of July, okay? So keep in mind that not every reading is for you. This reading may or may not be for you. We're just going to see what comes up. I just had three cards come out, so we are going to go ahead and take them. On the bottom of the deck, we have a diamond. You'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. So you're going to be receiving something, Taurus, or giving it. Receiving or giving. But let's see what these cards are. End of July, last half of July. Ooh, finger warning you of a problem either now or in the near future. Wonderful. Bat. Well, that's always nice. Take care. Enemies are working against you. Well, look at that, how it just fell. It just slipped. It just fell. Take care. Enemies are working against you. Heart. Love. Deep affection and caring. So there's love around for you. There is some sort of love around you. That finger is now pointing right at that bat. It's just like this. That's how it landed, but it was up here a little bit. So, okay. Warning you of a problem, either now or in the near future. Take care. Enemies are working against you, Taurus. But there is love, deep affection, and caring around you. Well, that's good. So, hmm, you got somebody here probably going to be pointing a finger at you. What do we have for Taurus? What do we have for Taurus for the end of July? Bats are dangerous aren't they i mean people are, most people are going to say they're not dangerous but if you were to look at them from that aspect without you know i don't even know if they're dangerous they seem like they're dangerous they seem like they probably have some sort of disease i don't care for bats <laughs> anyhow what do we have for taurus Eight, 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 eight. The time is now. This is about abundance. This is everlasting love. Infinity. Eights are, uh, eight is abundance. Eights are change. Eights are the time is now, right now. Something is gonna change. And, Scorpio, Scorpio, I don't know, maybe you're dealing with a Scorpio. Change in living situation, so there's a change in a living situation here. Hmm. Something is about to change. Maybe this Scorpio is a problem. I don't know. One more card. Doesn't have to be. Could be. Could go either way. Ooh, maybe it's a child. Children are a factor. So there is uh, an issue going on here. Maybe it has to do with you and your child. Maybe, maybe, uh, or, you, or somebody, or your partner's child. Maybe your partner's child is Scorpio. Um, maybe you don't get along with that child, or they don't get along with your child, or there's, there's a child that is a factor in your situation. Unrequited love. So you may be in a situation where there's unrequited love, and maybe it's because there's a child and the child is a wedge or something like that, or I don't know what the problem is, but there's obviously an issue here. <clears throat> Let's get some cards.
What do we have for Taurus? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. Queen of Wands reversed. Two of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Fool. Five of Pentacles reversed. Strength reversed. Some of you are dealing with a Leo. You have Leo twice. It could be a Leo. These could be Sun, Moon, or Rising. So it could be Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Um, Aries or Sagittarius. Let's get the, the rest of the cards. Uh, I think there's a lot of back and forth juggling going on right now. You may be indecisive. Things may seem a little chaotic. You're not sure what to do. You obviously have a choice to make. Um, you may be feeling left out, abandoned, uh, ghosted, or gaslighted, or you may be in a situation where it's unhealthy. We, there's, a, there's, there's a lot of uh, being left out of things, left out of decisions maybe. Um, get the rest of the cards. Seven of Cups reversed, Two of Wands, and Moon reversed. Could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. <laughs> you also could be dealing with a Gemini. We have the Lovers reversed on the bottom. This is a separation. I feel. I wonder if you're going to be separating from a contract, a karmic contract, a partnership that is not compatible. And, and, and it doesn't have to be a love partner. It certainly could be. But this is a separation. This is a detaching. Um, it's a broken relationship of some sort. There's no compatibility. There's fighting. There's arguing. There's, It's not a good match. So I'm, I'm wondering what is going on here. I feel like in the past, maybe you or right in the near past, or I don't know when it is, but... Uh, there's a lack. There's a lack of self-esteem. There's a lack of self-confidence. There's anger. There's belittling. There's other options. There may be another woman here or another man. There's another choice. Somebody has another choice. They're not very faithful. Um, you know, they may be dealing with another person. They may be hiding it. It may be revealed this month. Okay, there's because of the moon reverse. That is some sort of truth becoming being revealed. I don't know if you're dealing, like I said, with a Pisces or a Cancer. Um, there's probably another person here with the when you get the Queen of Wands in reverse it can signify another woman or another man but typically another woman this is somebody that forces themselves into a situation um, is another option we have the seven of cups in this lineup and maybe this person is very free-spirited and, and risky and takes risks uh, is gonna be doing something um, risky somebody is doing something risky probably with another person they may get caught there is some sort of truth that is getting revealed here you may be in a position where you didn't know your value or you didn't you had a lack of self-confidence you may have leapt into something without thinking you may have chosen something and now there's some sort of consequences here for doing something without thinking um because there's impulsive behavior. I think there's impulsive behavior in your past where, you know, you, you got to be careful what you leap into because what you own owns you. And I feel like now you may be in a position where you've lost some of your glow or you've lost some of your shine because you're dealing with somebody that is very controlling of you. This person lacks respect. Um, you got somebody here lacks respect for you that enjoys the power and the control that they have over you and they're hiding something. I feel like I feel like you have been um brought down. It's almost like stepped on by somebody in the past and I feel like, you know, uh, breaking free is on your mind. I feel like you want to break free from this. We have the fool. You're wanting to and maybe maybe you already have because it's in the past. The fool is freedom. It is leaving everything behind, going someplace else, you know, and just being like, you know, starting over. I'm starting over from scratch here. Because and and then underneath the fool is the seven of cups reversed, and that is um, choosing another option, becoming clear of a choice, becoming clear of the choice. Maybe you're breaking free from something, or you already have break broken free from something. But that queen of wands reversed. That is that's some sort of impulsive naive uh, I don't know I, I feel like there is somebody in your past that is very aggressive 
There is somebody that is very, very aggressive that has really, really stolen your confidence. They've stolen your self-esteem. And I, and I feel like... I feel like you need to make a you need to make a better choice. You need to make a better you need to make a better choice. We have the seven of cups, the two of, two of pentacles, and the two of wands. Those are about choices. You need to make a better choice, and I think that I think that you can you know I think that you can you can see something very very clearly, but there's some sort of fear here because you have if maybe you've been you've been gaslighted or you've been ghosted or you've been neglected the middle card is the five of wands i mean the five of pentacles reversed it's, this is this is ghosted abandoned neglected left out in the cold um relationship problems i feel like you've been led down the wrong path you've been led you've been led to believe that you know nobody's going to help you or something like that or you're not good enough. There's definitely a lack of self-confidence here, and and I and I feel I feel like it's time for a change. I feel like there's some sort of realignment that is happening right now, because in the right now position is the Two of Pentacles. That is a realignment. It is taking a step forward. A need to take a step forward. A need to focus on the future. And with the two of wands mirroring it those are both twos we have a partnership here i feel like you have been in a karmic contract some sort of contract with a person that you know is not you're not compatible with you don't have a lot in common with this person or you may be in that contract now and you have another option there's definitely options here with the two of with the two of pentacles the two of wands and the seven of cups i feel like you may need to walk away you may need to uh find your self discipline and your self control to go after what you deserve i feel like there is somebody here that is going to be giving you something that you deserve but you're going to have to you're going to have to choose you're going to have to make a decision as to whether you are ready to start over from scratch or not so starting over from scratch is 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 in this reading with the fool card. This is a this is a new beginning here. But with the strength card reversed, you may you may feel inadequate. I feel like there's self-esteem issues here for some of you. You may feel like you're not good enough. I feel like you've allowed somebody to control you because of your self-esteem. There's weakness, okay? The the strength card reversed and the queen of wands reversed is weak. Okay, okay. Some of you may be dealing with a narcissist, okay? A narcissist seeks out weak women. So pay attention to that. I mean, if you don't know what a narcissist is, you might want to look it up. If you have been mentally abused and, and put down and nothing you can do is right, you are probably dealing with a narcissist. Um, it could be a Pisces or a Cancer. It could also be a Leo or an Aries or a Sagittarius. Um... We also have Scorpio here, but anyhow, um, a choice is needed. A decision. De you're going to need to make a decision right now, right in during this month. I feel like you have an option here because of the Seven of Cups. You have an option to start over from scratch, but you have to let go of your fear. With the Strength card reverse, Queen of Wands reverse. That's fear. It's fear. Fear of being abandoned. Fear of being neglected. Fear of taking being taken advantage of. Um, fear of not being treated with respect, fear of uh, not of giving and not getting in return. There's a need to release your fear. There is a need to release your fear. I think that you are going to be receiving something from somebody. This is somebody that is not going to abandon you. This is this is somebody that uh, is probably very free spirited. Um, this 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 could be an equal situation where there's equality here. Six of, six of Pentacles is about give and take, getting what you deserve. You're going to be receiving something that you deserve. But it will require you to take a step forward and replace your fear with faith. 
maybe you're fearful of another woman, you know, you're fearful or another man. You're just very, very fearful. Maybe that's just fear. Maybe you need to take a risk. Maybe you need to step into unknown territory. I feel like you're going to be, you have an opportunity here, but you're going to need to leave your past fears behind. You're going to need to leave the past behind. I do believe that, I mean, with the, with the, with the full re, or the moon card reverse, that is a release of fear. It is. And you're going to be receiving some sort of clarity because of the seven of cups reverse and the moon is reverse. You're going to receive some, some sort of clarity. You're going to see things clearly if you can trust yourself. Okay. I feel like you're restraining yourself or you're, you're refraining. You're so afraid. You're so afraid. You're so afraid of something. And I think because you've dealt with your, or you're dealing with somebody right now, or you dealt with somebody who has taken your self esteem. It feels like you're dealing with a narcissist or you have dealt with a narcissist in the past. I feel sorry for you if you are. Um, but the strength card reversed is vulnerable, weak. We have somebody here that is weak. They're scared. They're fearful. They're fearful to give. Fe you're fearful. You're fearful to give. Be There's a lot of fear. Moon is right under the moon reversed is right underneath the strength card reversed. And above it is a six of pentacles. Very, very scared. Scared to give to a partnership. Empress upright. So Empress is the birth of a new life. You gotta let go. You gotta let go of the baggage. You gotta let go. There's something you need to let go of. You need to just drop it. You need to drop the weight. You need to drop the baggage. You need to drop the burden. Okay, that this is make a conscious change. Okay, okay? Make a conscious change to release whatever it is that you're carrying because this is the birth of a new life. This is a blessing. This is a gift. This is a miracle. This is this is abundance. You are this is truly beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. You're right in your own energy. You're front and center. You're you're you are. You're front and somebody sees your beauty. This is somebody that sees your beauty. They they see that you are abundant. I got the six of pentacles looking right at this empress. This is like, I'm going to give, I'm going to give to her. So there is somebody here that really sees you as the pick. It's harvest time as well. It's time for you to receive a blessing of some sort. And I feel, I feel it, this is a delivery. Okay, this is delivery time. Next to the Six of Pentacles, you are about to receive some sort of gift. It is time. It is time. But with the Strength card reversed, this is, there's so much fear of being abandoned. There is... There's so much fear. There's so much fear. There's a need to be graceful. There's a need to be strong. There's a need to be kind. There's a need to replace your fear with faith. There's, 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 there's love here because the Empress is love and abundance and beauty and There's a realignment. You are going to be receiving an offer that is very balanced. This and you need to be flexible. You need to be flexible. You need to be open to taking that step. Somebody is going to want you to take a step. They're going to it's it, like step it up. But you need to make a decision and you're going to receive the clarity that you need. You may be starting on a new chapter, a new journey with somebody. This is a new life. But you will need to detach from the partnership that is not compatible. Now you could be dealing, if you are a Taurus male watching this, you may be dealing with a Libra or another Taurus f feminine. Okay, it's just a masculine 
I get that mixed up. If you are a Taurus masculine, you are probably you could be you could you could be dealing with a Taurus or Libra feminine. If you are a Taurus feminine, you are probably dealing with a Scorpio. Could be a Leo, could be a could be a Pisces or a Cancer, could be an Aries. You definitely have a new beginning here. This is exciting. This may be this may be somebody that neglected to see your value. There or, or they neglected to take action because there was another woman or there was another person in the mix. There is another person here. And there's two options. So there is, there's definitely two options here and there's neglect. So somebody may have neglected to take action because of another person. Maybe they felt inadequate, they felt unworthy. But there is definitely going to be a change. You are about to receive uh, something that you, it's, it's like, it's like, cause the Empress gives birth when it's time. And it, during those months, you know, it's a time of, uh, gestation, a gestational period of growth. I think it's time you're about to receive something that you have been waiting for. This is a new beginning. I think that there is also somebody here that this is your person. Um, that is going to be very, very jealous. They could be angry. This could be an ex. It could be, say, just for example, you receive an offer. Say you're a Taurus woman and you receive an offer from this man or this masculine, however you go. And their ex gets really pissed off. That could be this woman or feminine energy that is throwing a fit, throwing a hissy fit. Somebody is throwing a hissy fit here. Or they're doing something, you know, because they're jealous, they're vindictive, they're manipulative, they're, they're throwing a tantrum. I do think you're going to be dealing with somebody that is throwing a tantrum. I feel like it's a fire sign or it's a water sign. So it's, a, it's either uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, uh, or Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It's like somebody is throwing a huge tantrum and um, they're acting vindictively. Um because you're making another choice or the person that is coming towards you is making another choice. Somebody is making another choice. They're seeing clearly. I feel like they're seeing clearly that the choice is, is, is this empress. Okay. This is, this is the goddess of love. She's a homemaker. She's abundant. She's beautiful. She's unconditional love. Um, So yeah, I feel like this empress is about to receive some sort of gift. This is what this is what she deserves. Um, and whoever it is that is giving the gift is seeing very, very clearly that this is the best option. But you do have somebody here that is going to throw fit. They are going to throw fit. I think that you are going to need to... Uh, have faith and trust. I feel like you're receiving a blessing and I feel like there's some sort of protection here for you. I feel like you're embarking on a new journey. You need to uh, make a decision and stick to it. And I feel like whoever your person is, is making a decision and they're not going to go backwards. Whoever this person is that you're dealing with is his... I feel like this person that you're dealing with is ready. They're ready for a new beginning. They're ready. They're ready to start over. They see you as the best option, whoever this person is that is making the decision. This is something you you don't have to worry about, and I feel like you've been worrying about it a lot. I feel like you've also been under somebody else's manipulation, somebody else's control, or your person has. You know, but I feel like there's going to be some freedom because the fool is freedom and so isn't the Ten of Wands reversed. This is breaking free. Somebody is breaking free from something that they have been holding on to. And, they, and I feel like they are... 
You're breaking free. And this is a huge relief. It is definitely relief. Five of Pentacles reversed as well. This is a huge relief. You are about to receive exactly what you deserve. But I feel like you're going to have your guard up. And I feel like you're going to be tested. I feel like you're going to be, I don't know if it's an ex or it's just some, or it's a friend or it's a mother or it's a child. Somebody is going to test you. But the love and the deep affection and caring is going to prevail. I mean, the Empress always wins because she's unconditional love. She's beautiful, right? I mean, she's ruled by Venus. Some sort of... Somebody's about to come out of hiding. Truth is about to be revealed. You are about to receive something that... Whoever this person is that is, has been going back and forth, that they've been trying to decide what they wanted to do, they're making their decision or you're make, somebody is making a big decision this month. <clears throat> I feel like you're gonna be sit, you're gonna be glowing. I keep looking at this empress. I feel like you're going to be absolutely glowing. You're going to be shining. You're going to be in the spotlight in some way. You're going to be so happy. I think it's definitely time. You're going to be receiving something that you have been waiting for. It's time. It's time for your blessing. <laughs> Somebody sees you as the best choice. There is also a detachment here as well, though. So either you're detaching from somebody or they are. Somebody is detaching. They are detaching from a partnership and focusing on, on something different. It's like stepping into unknown territory. Somebody has been hiding. They have been hiding their feelings. They're, feeling, they're about to reveal their feelings if they haven't already. There's definitely a realignment, a change that is coming. There is another eight in or, or, or infinity symbol in this too. So eight, 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 eight. The time is now. Things are about to change. You're going to be going down a new path. This is a fresh start. Look at it as such. Replace your fear with faith. Take this risk. This is a turning point for you. It's time to step into unknown territory. Somebody has made a choice and their choice is you. And I, I, you know, I feel like this, you're going to be surprised. I feel like this is a, is a surprise. I feel like you've almost been begging or waiting for this. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Good luck.